guys, it's been two hours since we left Kampala and we are so close to reaching the equator, right? Now we all know passing the equator is going to be our first major win. Yeah? Before we reach the borders. Now, yeah. Do you think Ugandan people think this bus can reach the border? There's only one way to find out. Mm -hmm. Be a part of the journey. We are going to be giving you daily updates yeah. of where we are going to be reaching. The mileage we've covered. Mm. Back the kilometer. Kilometer, meter. Kilometer, meter. No. To be okay to demo to charge. Yeah. Okay. But in total, we have that. Thirteen thousand. Yes. Us crossing the equator, which is already a significant mm -hmm. milestone. Yeah. And we are switching. Mm. You know, and that's such a major sort of uh, milestone and event. That's true. Uh, for us to be able to cross it, and that can symbolize a lot of different things, right? Yeah. Because you're crossing. Six nations. You know, a highlight for me is that this bus has Wi Fi. The speakers are lit. Like, it actually feels like I'm. Um, I don't want to like exaggerate, home. but it feels like a plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, better than a plane, because if you're searching economy, you wouldn't have an experience like this. The experience, legs would be like, exactly. you know, Some but planes. it's 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 really it's really cool. What what do you have any anxieties about this trip? I I think I I did oh. personally. I would say I did not have enough sleep, but I know you did too because of. Uh, yeah, so, I love that. Yes. One of the crazy things I've seen on Twitter, on X, is that um, there's absolutely no way we are going to make it to South Africa. Have you seen that? Those I haters, pessimists, people that don't believe in challenges, because life is about challenges and challenges. So we hit our first milestone. We are here in Mutukula. Having covered over 240 kilometers all the way from Nambole where we set off. Congratulations. We will be spending the night here in Mutukula as our first stop. Our battery is uh, at 30%, uh, meaning we have consumed about 70% of the battery, having set off at 100% from Nambole. We're looking at having uh, border clearances tonight. We are going to leave our luggage in the car, uh, move with our passports for those that have them, travel documents for those that have, and we'll be guided to where we're supposed to go so that tomorrow morning we set off for Tanzania as we're getting to Igunga, uh, which will probably be where we'll spend the night. But as is our culture at Kira Motors, whenever we uh, hit a milestone, we give thanks to God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of this country. Lord God, we thank you for the gift of the brains that are behind this uh, Kayola e bus. Lord God, we, say, we pray that uh, the journey that we, we have embarked on is a successful journey, is a journey of uh, you know, uh, achievement, is a journey uh, of blessings. It's a successful journey. We are able to meet our milestones and goals. Lord God, we have goals ahead. We have targets ahead. We, have, we want to make over a thousand orders for this bus and we believe that we'll get them. Lord God, we also pray, we have committed that we're going to get connectivity across the entire route and we pray that we should get that uh, very well. Let's, uh, everyone we meet, open their doors, open their places so that we are able to, you know, uh, achieve the goals. And Lord God, as we have reached here in Mutukula, we are able to sleep tonight and wake up safe and sound to, uh, you know, continue with our journey. We pray, uh, Lord God, uh, all this through your son, Jesus Christ. Amen.